and inside here there are these chambers this is a half chamber and these half chambers are connected with eight other chambers now let's make the unit each time you cut off three of these from a tube of hexagons put two little tubes together and make a triangle with them like that and make a tetrahedron formation now these gaps need to be filled and then generally it's easier to make these triangles after putting two units together they will join like this so I'll just show you on one side what to do if you make the triangle immediately make this triangle and these triangles will join over here because this is the end phase already at the bottom I made single triangles but that's an exceptional case now two of these can join the only thing is that first here these triangles are needed and these can be joined at this point again you need to finish these triangles so basically each, each time two fresh hexagons meet each other like this then you need to build these triangles afterwards now there are two ways to make a 2x2x2 two by two by two. there is this one where you get this sphere in the center and the other way is connecting it like this and then you get all these half spheres on the outside now let's finish this one first finish all the triangles So now we have a 2x2x2 two by two by two. Now this 2x2 two two needs to join over here Here on the outside there is a half circle that's not suitable this is the right way to connect it now finally those are going to join so with the 2x2 two two and the 2x2x2 two by, uh, two by two by two and the 2x2x3 two by two by you get a 2x2x5 two two this needs to be placed on top 
of a 2 by 3 by 5 in order to make a 2 by 5 by 5. So these fresh hexagons need those triangles again. Now we have the 2 by 5 by 5 and over here the 3 by 5 by 5 and over here already those triangles have been made ready because otherwise it's really tough to finish those triangles at the end. Now carefully And now the final touch. Over here, these must face each other or, or point at each other. And then over here, still there is a fresh connection. And then finally this one, again they must point towards each other, that's it. For making the 5x5, five five, first I made a 2x3x5, then I made a 3x3x5, three by three by and the 3x3x5 three by three by I made with a 3x3x3 three by three by three connecting to a 2x3x3. Now these can be connected 